What is going on you guys? My name is Russ and thank you for tuning in to Trial 9 Films. Now, today, the day we have all been waiting for, it's Morbius Day. I've been waiting for this movie for two years now. Ever since that first trailer dropped, I've been on the edge of my seat waiting for the cinematic masterpiece that would be Morbius. Now, that being said, I have seen it. I've seen it multiple times now. I've seen it five times. Yes, you heard that right. Five times I have seen this movie. That's just how good it is. Now, for this review, not going to be going into any spoiler territory. And the reason is, is because I don't want anything about this movie being revealed in, the, in my video. I want you, the audience, to see this review and realize that this... This movie is worth the $10 movie ticket times 10. I would pay $100 to see this movie, and that is the God honest truth. So, no spoilers in this review. Watch the review, get inspired, and go out and see Morbius for yourself. This movie, I'm calling it now, full sweep at the Oscars. Every category that it applies to, it's taken home the Oscar. No doubt in my mind about that. Also... I agree, critics agree, the audience agrees. Best, most perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes I have ever seen. The, the entire community of cinema is in full agreement on the fact that this movie is an A+. It is a win for Sony. The best Sony movie they have ever made. I'll show you the Rotten Tomatoes thing on, on screen right now. Uh, so you're looking at that and you see that this is just being praised by everyone around the world. Everyone loves this movie, you know? You wouldn't think with such a short runtime you'd be able to make such a fantastic movie. But I'll tell you, Avi Arad, Amy Pascal, director Daniel Espinosa has proven us wrong. They have shown us that you don't need these three-hour run times, <coughs> Batman. You don't need Kevin Feige and a larger cinematic universe. You just need the genius that is Jared Leto playing Morbius. I'm calling it now. I think that Marvel will be out with Kevin Feige, out with the MCU, it's still going to be called the MCU, but it will be renamed to the Morbius Cinematic Universe. That's how good this movie is. This movie has set such a high standard for cinema that it's just... If you're not making another Morbius movie, it's not even worth making a movie anymore. Because you know, deep down, you will never ever even get to the heels of what Morbius has done for cinema. This movie will change cinema for the rest of the entire world. We're watching an evolution here, people. A full-scale, full-blown evolution of movies with Morbius. They said it couldn't be done. Everyone thought this movie would flop, but I'll put it again. Look at the reviews. Look at the reviews. Everyone loves Morbius, and I do as well. I'm actually going to go see it right immediately after I get done editing and posting this video. I'm seeing it again. That's how much I love this movie. I have never been so moved by a movie. The emotional just... Just the emotionalness of this movie. It's You can't put words to it. I cried. I laughed. I felt rage. I was... I, I was I felt pure bliss and euphoria. Every emotion you could feel, Morbius made me feel. It's like a drug. A drug that I'm addicted to. You know what? I am addicted to Morbius. That's how good this movie is. I don't think any movie has or ever will even come close to getting to what Morbius has done. This movie is going to be looked back at as not just only the best comic book movie ever made, but the best movie ever made. You heard it here first, folks. This will be revered as the best movie ever made. Morbius starts off strong. 
it gets you hooked from the second you walk into the theater. The second you see that first scene of Morbius to the end. Non-stop, just edge of your seat, just cinema. That's all it is. You can't compete with it. The first scene to the post credit scenes. And now there's been a lot of controversy about these post credit scenes because they have leaked. Uh, they leaked a few days ago, but obviously now you can go see Morbius for yourself and see these post credit scenes. And at first, there is there is a little bit of controversy. Uh, people thought it didn't make sense. Now I'm not going to go too into what these post credit scenes were, but the tides have changed. People are changing their opinion. They're starting to realize that Sony, in their absolute genius, that is Avi Arad and Amy Pascal, they're thinking bigger picture, bigger picture than MCU, bigger picture than Spider-Man. We're talking about Morbius here. A lot of people at first, they just didn't get it. They couldn't understand. Sony pulled a high IQ plan and it they executed it perfectly. Their big brain play is going to cause a shift in cinema for the rest of our lives. And people didn't like it at first. They didn't understand. But, like all revolutions before, they've had their naysayers. But now is the time for Morbius. The greatest movie of 2022 and beyond. This movie will be on everyone's number one movie list for decades to come. It doesn't matter what comes out. Avatar 2, forget about it. Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, forget about it. Moon Knight, cancel that shit. Bring on the Morbiverse. That's all I want. I want more Jared Leto Morbius. You know what? Actually, dare I say, fire everyone in the MCU and the Sonyverse. Let Jared Leto play Every single one of them. I want Jared Leto Doctor Strange, Jared Leto Venom, Jared Leto Vulture, Jared Leto Spider-Man, Jared Leto Gwen Stacy. Huh? How about that? Jared Leto Gwen Stacy. Now, I know I'm talking up a big game about Morbius and, and the perfect cinema that it is. And a lot of people aren't going to understand that. A lot of people just don't understand movies to the point that a lot of other people do. And the naysayers of Morbius, which, trust me, they're the small minority. A lot of people love Morbius. But there are naysayers out there. Just like there's naysayers for everything. They are wrong. I promise you, I could not put into words how good my experience was watching Morbius. This is one of the greatest movies I have ever seen. Actually, no. The greatest movie I have ever seen. Nothing will compete. Nothing. Nothing Kevin Feige can do. Nothing Disney can do. Hell, I think Sony might even have a hard time topping this movie. They just created such a visual, stunning masterpiece of a film. And they all did it with a very short runtime. Something that's hard to come by these days. It's not going to take your entire night away. You can see it and, be, and then be on your way. And you have experienced the greatest movie to ever hit movie theaters. Probably ever. Now, that being said, there are a few flaws. A few flaws. And that's the other actors in the movie. They all suck. Everyone else in this movie sucks except for Jared Leto. I think, personally, what I would have done if I was in charge of this movie is I would have just hired Jared Leto to play everybody in the movie. And you know what? That, that might be what they do for the sequel. That just might be what they do for the sequel. And that's probably the only way they will top this first Morbius movie. It's just, it's, it's set such a high standard for movies, it's, it's kind of unreachable now. And I'm here for it. I've been excited for this movie since the day that first trailer came out and after the seven pushbacks of this movie. And now I understand. I understand why the movie had to be pushed back seven times. You can't rush perfection. And they didn't. And it has... The, the fruits of their labor have come in full force. 
And this this movie, it's it's just moving. I don't think I, I don't see myself going to the movies once once this movie is out of theaters. I don't see myself ever going to the movies again because I know I will always compare it to Morbius, and it's not going to be good. I'm, I'm setting myself up for disappointment. Disappointment. So that being said, everyone, please go check out Morbius. It's 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 good. It's the greatest movie I've ever seen. Critics agree. The audience agrees. Everyone agrees. Bring me, bring on the Morbiverse. This is the greatest movie of the year. Full sweep at the Oscars, I'm calling it. Jared Leto's going to get actor of the year for this. Best lead actor. This is going to get best picture at the Oscars. Every other award that it could win, it will win. Morbius has changed cinema. And I hope you go see it. Because it is an experience to be enjoyed. That's my review of Morbius. Uh, if you like the video, click that like button. It helps out the channel. Uh, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. But you know how to do that. You've been on YouTube long enough. I don't have to tell you. And, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you thought of Morbius. Is it the greatest movie you've ever seen? I mean, there's only one right answer and the rest of you are liars. But I'd like to hear regardless. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, I don't know when it will be because I, is a movie even worth reviewing after Morbius came out? But that's neither here nor there. Regardless, thank you for watching the video. And if you stayed here to this point, rock on.